Life Unrehearsed. Brought to you by Leanna Senior Transition Support. Helping you navigate home care and senior residences. And welcome back to Life Unrehearsed. Matt Del Vecchio here. Just love that song from Jimmy Durante. On that very same topic of aging, best-selling author, editor, and educator, Sari Botten, is the creator of Oldster Magazine, which explores how to navigate every stage of life and topics of aging. It's really all about normalizing aging. Fantastic uh, magazine we're going to talk about. It has over 36,000 subscribers, and Sari has further ex- re-explored her own relationship with aging through her novel, and you may find yourself Confessions of a Late Blooming Gen X Weirdo. <laughs> Love that title. Sari, welcome to Life Unrehearsed. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. Well, glad you could join us here again. Um, uh, as we were saying earlier on in the show, uh, ageism and the stigma behind it. We have a lot of work to do, and um, you are leading the pack uh, with Oldster Magazine and a lot of essays and, and uh, information being out there to uh um, inform because aging is not just about a number. It could be at any age. So I'd love to hear a little bit more first about yourself, Sari, and um, because you ended up making a switch from trade magazines and ghostwriting to creating writing, creative writing and, and doing your own essays and memoirs and fiction. Tell us a little bit about that switch. Well, that switch um, happened a few, you know, a, a little while ago, maybe a decade or, or more ago. Um, I felt really stuck in trade magazines. I didn't really know how to get out, and I started working double time. So I would work my day job at a trade magazine about home furnishings, and then at night I would write about the arts or I would write personal essays uh, until I really dug myself out of there. And then I eventually started um, editing anthologies. I I have two New York City anthologies. One is called Goodbye to All That, Writers on Loving and Leaving New York. Um, And then I found myself as an editor at Longread. So I really started establishing myself in a different area, but I had to do it by working really like two jobs at the same time. Um, And then um, a few years ago, I started Oldster Magazine um, because I was in my 50s and I was thinking a lot about aging. I was experiencing ageism on the job market. And um, I I was curious about other people's experiences with it. So I just jumped in and and got started and it took off immediately. I love that. And it did take off. Really proud of you because it's so important a topic. And I'd love for our listeners to learn a little bit more. Love the name, by the way, Oldster, uh, and the, and the twist you've taken with it. And tell us about uh, a little bit more about Oldster magazine and uh, what inspired you to create it. Well, the tagline for Oldster is exploring what it means to travel through time in a human body at every phase of life, and that's really what it is. It's finding out what are people's experiences of traveling through time in human bodies, regardless of what age group they're in, because we're all aging and we all are the oldest we've ever been. So no matter what the numbers are, we feel old because we've never been as old as we are. And so um, I also wanted to get an intergenerational conversation going. I didn't want to just make a magazine for older people because then it's a silo and an echo chamber. I really wanted young people to find out what older people are experiencing and older people to find out what younger people are experiencing and each to advise the other and witness. I also wanted it to be all genders because there's a lot of media for women over 40, women over 50, but another silo. And I didn't want, you know, and other people are doing that already. I wanted to do something different where I'm really having women and men and people of all genders witness each other's experiences. And it's very informative and it's a wonderful community that has developed. I called it Oldster because I wanted to take a word that had been kind of a slur and reappropriate it, you know, reclaim it and use it in a tongue in cheek way to um, support my mission, which is to destigmatize and normalize aging because we're all going through it all the time. I wanted to push back against our ageist culture. Mm-hmm. Listen to Life on Rehearse, Matt Del Vecchio here, and I'm talking with Sari Button about navigating different phases of life and destigmatizing aging. Now, I want to talk about your own relationship with aging. You've you uh, talked about it briefly, and it's changed over the course of your life and career, hasn't it? Oh, very much. Um, but the interesting thing is that I became 
focused on it, fascinated with it at 10 years old. Mm. And what happened was when I, at my 10th birthday party at a bowling alley, my uncle came and he said, wow, you'll never be one digit again. (laughs) And that one sentence just blew my little 10 year old mind (laughs) because I had passed through a portal and I couldn't go back the other way. And I had never really thought about that being only 10 years old. And also, I was always either precocious, doing things too early, or I was late. I was doing things late. And so I became focused on, well, when are you supposed to do what? And I was always out of step with my peers. And so my fascination with age and milestones began very young. And then as I got into my 50s, I started to experience ageism and also arthritis and my vision was going. And, and so I, I really became focused on it in a different way. Um, and I realized I want to explore this in a more serious way. And that is when I launched Oldster, which was, I launched Oldster, um, in August of 2021. And it has taken off now. Nice to hear. You're in the tens of thousands of su- subscribers now. But I think at the heart of it is is what I want to ask next, Sari, is because uh, this is more of a general question in a societal question that we're seeing out there. And what do you believe is needed to normalize aging and destigmatize it? I think it's letting people tell their stories about being exactly their age and what it means to them, what they're experiencing, which is what I'm doing. I I have people write personal essays, and also I have something called the Oldster Magazine Questionnaire. Every week I have one person respond to the Oldster Magazine Questionnaire, which has a bunch of questions asking people, what's it like to be exactly your age? What's hard about being your age? What's wonderful about being your age, what's surprising about it. And there's a a whole bunch of questions. And um, yeah, so I think the thing is to talk to people, to read about aging. You know, uh, there's a lot of articles about it these days. It's a topic um, that is being covered a lot because I think the current generations are aging much differently than the prior generations because we're less formal. Also, we're living longer. And I think the baby boomers really got it started. They really threw out the rule books about how you're supposed to act at particular ages. And then Gen X, my generation, took it even further. And then, you know, there might be a little bit of a backlash with millennials and Gen Z. They mm-hmm. might be saying like, wait, let's be more adult mm-hmm. about things. Yeah, um, it's so true. You know, and I think a lot of Gen Xers, I'm in that category as well. I'm 50, uh, 58 this year, my goodness. And uh, But the baby boomers are leading the way. They've really had to go through and break down some barriers their entire lives, you know, and I think the next generations yes. will only benefit from that. Sorry, we're already out of time. Uh, I want to thank you very much for, for joining me here on a Sunday. Um, if people our listeners want to find out a little bit more about Oldster Magazine, even subscribe to it. It's a great magazine. What do they need to do? They should go to um, oldstermagazine.com or oldster.substack.com. They can get there either way. All right, Oldster, O-L-D-S-T-E-R. I love that. Sari, thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. All right, the Sari Botten, creator of the Oldster Magazine and author of her novel, And you may find yourself confessions of a late-blooming Gen X weirdo.